this flute cast is about flutes that play together. And I had set up a loop there with one flute, and I had a second flute that was in a complementary key, and they play together. I think most people would agree that. This flute cast looks at all the possible flutes that play together and how to figure it out without any music theory, which means we won't be talking about keys of flutes, meaning I won't be naming F sharps and A's and C sharps and doing the, scale, you know, doing the scales and the counting up semitones games and the charts and the circle of fifths and all that stuff. Because I think it's more valuable to treat this as a, um, as a listening exercise. This is a great thing to do in uh, flute circles, uh, not only to get people to find keys of flutes that, flutes that play together, but also to learn to listen, to learn to listen to the pitches and uh, to match pitches. So we're going to do it just by using our ears. And the game usually goes like this. I'm looking for a flute whose bottom note matches this note. And I'll pick up a flute and I'll play that and walk around the flute circle. And the way I do it, I don't, you know, the, the, the initial impulse is to go like this. And that kind of is difficult to tell when two flutes, a second flute's going to hold their long tone. And that's going to be a, a bit problematic to hear. So it's better, I think, if you're looking for matching pitches or you want to see if two flutes are in tune with each other or they'll play together, um, to, to do short notes and alternate on and off, something like this. Okay, now if I do that, it's easier to interleave it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record that. I have a loop pedal set up here, and i got a switch on the floor. I'm going to record that and then go look for another flute that is consonant. <laughs> Okay, so let's look for another note, another flute that matches that bottom note. Oh, let's see. What do we got over here? Let's try this flute. It's approximately the same length. You can judge it by length. Here we go. These two flutes are somewhat close to the same length. Hmm, maybe. I'm using my bottom note on the first flute. I'm using my bottom note on the second flute. That's not it. Not going to work. Let's try another one. Approximately the same length. Not quite it. Let's pick up another flute. Let's try this flute here, which looks surprisingly similar to the first flute because I don't have two flutes of the same key. However, that's it. So that's the first rule. Two flutes in the same key, they're going to go together. The second rule is we want two flutes that are an octave apart because they're going to work beautifully well together. How do we do that? Same idea of the exercise, except if I've got this big low flute, I'm going to sound it on the top note and then go look for a flute whose bottom note matches my top note. So here we go. Then I'm going to play my top note and going to use it to look for another flute whose bottom note matches it. OK, 
Okay. Let's pick up some. Let's try this flute. Now, what I'm really looking for is a flute that's about half the length. If we look at this, now I'm not looking at the whole length of the flute, but I'm looking at the distance from the bird to the foot. And this flute has, um, let's see, this flute has a direction holes, so we're only going to go to the direction holes, and let's see if it's about, let's see, uh, it might be about the right, we're looking for, for a flute that's up, whose sound chamber, the distance from the sound mechanism to the foot of the flute or the direction holes is about half the length, and that'll be twice the frequency, an octave up. Here we go, and I'm going to use my bottom note on this. Not the same note. Yeah, let's see, what do we got here? Let's try this flute. Let's try this flute. Hmm, this is, looks sort of about half the length. Not even close. Let's try, what do we got here? Ah, I got this little plastic flute. This is a Northern Spirits flute. There it is. Here we go. Now I'm just playing this single note on the bottom flute. What I'm going to do is, let's see, we're going to give this a try. I'm going to record just the top flute and see if I can harmonize that with the lower flute. See how it sounds. Here we go. seems to have worked that seems to have worked pretty well i think we can agree that those two flutes they passed the test the lower flute i played the top note the upper flute i played the bottom note if they match they're an octave apart it works and now for the fun part flutes that are in different keys. Both of those, I happen to say, were A minor flutes, but they could be anything. They could be Q17 minor. As long as they're an octave apart, that works. Or if they're in the same key, that works. Uh, even, you know, not an octave apart, that works. Now we're looking for flutes in different keys that are consonant with each other. The game is exactly the same. It's very easy. I'm gonna pick up the bottom flute I'm going to play this note, four fingers closed. You might remember from the mode four flute cast, this is a special combination. You're eventually gonna go look up the mode four fingering, but for starters, we're just gonna play this note and I'm gonna record it with my handy looper and see what happens. I'm then going to look for another flute whose bottom note matches this. That's the game here. Here we go. I'll start with this big flute and look for a higher flute, a smaller flute, that has a bottom note that matches this. Here we go. Try this flute. We tried this flute before. Yeah. Does 
doesn't match, but it did sound pretty good, didn't it? It doesn't match, let's give it a go. Okay, it doesn't pass the test. Let's see what happens if we try other notes. We start on the bottom note, it sounds pretty good. was pretty good. However, if I carry that experiment a little bit further, I'm going to record this upper flute, and then we're going to try it against the bottom flute and see if it works on other notes of the bottom flute. Here we go. I'm going to stop this recording, and I'm going to record this upper flute, and then go back to the lower flute that we think might match. This is a listening experiment. It's an experience. It's not a test. We're looking for maybe a different combination of flutes that might work. Okay, so here we go. Go back to the bottom flute and see. We started on this note. Remember, it worked. Let's see how it works on other notes. suspected that kind of suspected that because it didn't pass the test but it was worth giving it a try because nobody gets injured nobody gets damaged by this we're just making sounds it's okay if they're out of tune we'll just move on let's go back to the test the test was play this note and find a flute whose bottom note matches it here we go Let's try this flute. works against that one note. Let's try the reverse experiment and play a lead on this and see if we can harmonize it with the lower flute. Here we go.
levels, so that worked. And the game was, again, four fingers down, play that note, and find another flute whose all holes close match it. And these two flutes work together. The trick is, on the lower flute, and typically if you're the more experienced player, you'll go around a flute circle and you'll look for a less experienced player who's going to play the regular pentatonic minor scale, keeping the third finger down, third finger from the top down, and playing that. And you're going to play in mode four. Briefly, mode four is you keep your fourth finger from the top down, and you play the other fingers, including the, the unloved third finger from the top all the way up the scale. So this is your new scale on the lower flute. These two flutes match. And if you want to go deeper into that, go find the Mode 4 flute cast and learn all about Mode 4. It is a whole new world. It is a whole second scale in every flute and it's extremely useful. And it's very useful for doing these kind of duets. What you do is, and I did this for better part of a year, I found flutes that work together and I put little blue sticky tape thingies on the back of my flutes and I wrote the, the other key flute that it worked with. And eventually I made myself a chart and eventually I learned the chart. Uh, and I remember most of it, or most of the time I remember most of it. Uh, so that's a fun game to have and uh, have fun with it. Flutes that work together. Bye.